Hello, and welcome to the More Freedom Foundation. I think it's time to redefine what exactly it is that I'm doing here. The mission is actually quite simple. I am trying to save the world. I've been posting videos as the More Freedom Foundation for over five years now, and I've been doing it full-time for almost three years. Back then, I defined the mission of the channel in a very specific way. We are against international power structures. At this point, that mostly means we're against the United States government. I'd like to clarify that we are not against the United States. We are against the United States government. I happen to think that the United States is pretty much the best country ever. Honestly, it was a bit of a punk rock attitude, no matter how rationally I presented the arguments. This channel was born out of rage at the US criminal justice system. And it's been sustained by disgust at the way that Washington, D.C. seems to want to throw out 70 years of international peace and prosperity. This has made for some pretty angry videos. But a lot has changed over the past three years, and I've arrived somewhere very different. The advent of Donald Trump in particular has shifted the way I think about things. In a lot of ways, he's our first punk rock president. His supporters are motivated more by rage than by anything else. Stuff like this makes it clear that I don't need to focus on shaking U.S. power and institutions anymore. They've already been shaken to their core. This channel has had another emphasis from the beginning. With my Welcome to the Golden Age series, I've tried to point out that the world is in much better shape than the media and our leaders tell us it is. It hasn't been adequately reflected in my content, but I've actually become more optimistic in certain ways over the past three years. I've been looking very closely at how the world works, and I've realized that there's a lot more to preserve than there is to complain about. We really do live in a time of unparalleled peace and prosperity. And as much as it pains me to admit it, the structures of U.S. power have had more than a little bit to do with this. We've argued from the beginning that fear is the only thing that can derail our golden age. Fear is the only real threat to peace and prosperity. Well, fear has been winning. Unlike 2011 or early 2014, we now actually are living in a new and dangerous era, which makes it even more important that this channel work against fear. Rather than focusing on tearing things down, we now need to focus on saving the worthwhile elements of the world that our parents and grandparents built. A golden age is still very possible, which is why I believe that independent media platforms like mine are absolutely essential. We work to look beyond the headlines and Donald Trump's tweets to see what is really happening and what is really worth talking about. That's the plan moving forward. I hope you'll join us. Please subscribe and dive into the resources we've begun to lay out on our website. The future of the world may just depend on it. Thanks.